Hello and welcome to Invisent News. You are watching this bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. The district reported 365 fresh novel coronavirus cases and 11 fatalities, the lowest single day spike and death toll in the last 24 hours. In the day, total 1,333 people successfully recovered from the virus bond disease. Taking the number of cumulative recovered to 4,56,579, with the latest upgrade, the total number of cases has surged to 4,73,537, while the number of deaths rose to 8,868. Elaborating on the statistics concerned, medical officials revealed that out of the 11 casualties on Friday, six patients were from the city, two were from rural areas, and three were from outside Napo district. Also, among the 365 fresh cases, 56 patients were from AIMS, 73 were from GMC, 20 from IGGMC, 4 from NIDI, 22 from University, 119 from the private laboratories of the city, and 71 from the city's antigen testing laboratories. Anxiety ran high among the people after some locals spotted a leopard in Gayatri Nagar behind IT Park on Friday. Though the leopard reportedly escaped the premises before squad or Pratapnagar police station, an official of police department rushed the spot. Cops have discovered footprints of the leopard in front of P.I. Tosre. Forest officials were prepared to deal with any eventuality as they took help of a dog squad after Kishore Jagtap narrated how he saw a leopard at his residence. Speaking to reporters, P.I. Tosre said Pratap Nagar cops received information regarding a leopard that was spotted at plot number 47 by 127 of Gayatri Nagar behind IT Park around 10.30. Acting swiftly on the inputs, cops alerted Forest Department, the squad of Pratap Nagar cops and Forest Department then rushed to the spot. However, leopard escaped the premises leaving footprints on the site. The birth anniversary of Veer Savarkar was observed by various organizations. In the NMC headquarters, Mayor Dayashan Kativare, Deputy Mayor Manisha Dawde, Leader of Opposition Tana Jivanwe and Municipal Commissioner Radhakrishnan B offered floral tribute to Swatantra Veer Savarkar at the Hall of New Administrative Building. Senior Corporator Sunir Agrawal, former Standing Committee Chairman Pradeep Pohone, Additional Municipal Commissioner Jala Sharma Ram Joshi, Sanjini Pane, Deputy Municipal Commissioner Nirbhaya Jain, Ravindra Bhelve, Milin Mishram, Additional Municipal Commissioner Mahesh Damicha, Health Officer Dr. Sanjay Chilkar also were present. In the Divisional Commissioner Office and Collectorate, two tributes were paid to Savarkar. Deputy Commissioner Srikant Padke offered tribute to Swatantiva Savarkar by garlanding his portrait at the Office of Divisional Commission. Assistant Commissioner Harish Bhamre, Nayab Tahsildar, Sandeep Tadse, Nitin Kolane and many others attended the event. Organizations like Hindu Mahasabha to pay tribute to freedom fighter Savarkar. As the oil marketing companies revised fuel prices on Friday night, petrol surpassed the rupees 100 per litre mark, creating an all-time high record. Petrol will be sold at a price of rupees 100 and 02 per litre in the city on Saturday as the new rates are applicable for the following day. Petrol prices was rupees 99.77 rupees per litre on Friday, which gained 25 paise per litre to reach its all-time high. Diesel price also saw a jump of 29 paise per litre on Friday night to touch a new high of rupees 90.62 rupees per litre. On Friday, diesel price was rupees 90.33 rupees per litre. Even as the fight against the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic continues and people cutting across all sections of the society are facing immense hardship due to it, fuel prices are showing consistent high for the past couple of weeks. With focus on strengthening the health infrastructure of City Standing Committee on Friday, presented civic budget where its enhanced outlay of Rs. 2,796.06 crore but without any new tax. Prakash was chairperson while tabling the budget before NMC maintained the line taken by administration and refrained from tinkering with taxation as he indicates a letter talking to news persons at civic headquarters. Burr said it is indeed an election budget but our leadership has a clear focus to wrap up ongoing development projects that would make Nagpur a much better place to live in. He said that COVID-19 has brought in a sharp focus the need for adequate health facilities and hence funds of Rs. 55 crore and earmark in the budget. He however did not provide bifurcation for the same but most probably some would go in meeting expenses incurred during the second wave. 
Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please stay very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sach dikhai, bina chupai.